first things he said was this is this is the bare minimum of what you guys have to do. Would you agree with that that observation that he made in terms of playing at the level that you have to play at to compete? For sure. On a nightly basis. Um you know, I felt like we competed, you know, and came down to the last couple of minutes, gave up a couple of offensive rebounds. Drew got it going. Um, we got to do a better job of executing. Um, but they're the defending champs for, for a reason. You know, hell of a team. Got to give them credit. You know, um, we had it. You know, we made some mistakes, um, made it tougher on ourselves. The rebounding at the end it was kind of similar to last night in Atlanta, offensive rebounding for the other team. What are you saying in those moments where it's tough to get those defensive rebounds? Um, I mean, we, we got to anticipate sometimes long shots going to have, you know, long rebounds. So you you know we gotta do check downs when shots shots go up and you know go to your man instead of going to the basket you know um, a lot of them shots you know was long they bounced off long with straightening they, their hands so just check down on our man when a shot go up understanding that long long shots gonna lead to long rebounds. Firing on all cylinders for you guys in that third quarter when you kind of grab momentum and then what shifts and maybe what didn't carry over in the fourth when they kind of um, back we we got a little bit stagnant. Um, they kind of got it going, kind of got a rhythm, got aggressive um, and brought, you know, their aggressiveness towards us, you know, and, you know, they did what they were supposed to do and respond to, you know, our aggressiveness of being, you know, into them, you know, offensively trying to be aggressive, getting downhill, getting, getting to the free throw line, you know, it kind of was stagnant for us going in that fourth quarter. The defense uh, played against you tonight? Um, I mean, Every shot I took, shots I live with, you know, um, just one of those nights, you know, um, um, just wasn't knocking them down. It happens, you know. Um, Drew is a hell of a defender, but, you know, I take every last one of those shots. Again, you know, I bet my money on it that I'll knock them down again. Just one of those nights, you know, um, I wasn't going to let that slow me down um, from taking the next shot. Um, therefore, next time. Billy was talking about their ability to be physical without fouling. Mm -hmm. And that's the second straight night that you guys had a pretty large free throw discrepancy. Yeah. Um, how could you guys get to that level? I mean, fouling's been an issue for you guys as a team. Really. Um, I think that comes just being mentally locked into the game, understanding, you know, the small tendencies of players, of, of possessions, how to be aggressive without using your hands, using your body, um, having great awareness and anticipation, you know, um, you gotta give credit, you know. Um, their team have have that, you know. We still trying to learn that. Um, we bail teams out, you know, way way too much, you know. And we just gotta play smart, you know. Um, and you know, last couple of games definitely been showing us that. Handful of games, like you said, against the tough teams haven't been going the way y'all wanted. Is there anything that? What do you want y'all to like take away or learn from these games? Or kind of do you feel like y'all have started to build on? I mean, yeah, you learn from how hard it is to compete in this league night in, night out, to be, you know, a team like the Milwaukee Bucks that won the championship. You know, they had to go through plenty of growing pains as well until they got to to their goal, you know, and we got to take these growing pains on the chin and understand that, you know, if you really want it, you know, you gotta you gotta get back up on your feet when you get when you get knocked down and understand how hard it, it is to compete in this lead and, and play every single night, night, not every couple games, you know, not just versus the bad teams, but competing versus the good teams. You know, we gotta take on that challenge and you know it's good for us, you know, to get get hit and see how hard it really is to win in this lead. That's the Derek about the flavor he got on on Grayson Allen. There was a lot of attention on that because of what happened. Um, he said he's not a dirty player. Derek made a point to say that. What kind of player have you known him to be just competing against him through the years? I've never been a dirty player. Not at all. I didn't think that was a dirty play. You know, I I, I don't know what they base on base these flagrant fouls or whatever on I don't know. You know, um Derek has never been that. You know, um, I don't even know if he ever even had a flagrant rail in his career, you know, but he's, I've never known him be that at all. Did you guys talk at all uh, leading up to this game about what happened last night? You, I mean, you, you know, you understand it. You know, I don't think it's something that you need to talk about. You know, you just understand it. You know, you, you know what's what. And, you know, um, 
I mean, you, you realize that every single day when we see a teammate that's not playing because of injury um, that was caused by a team that was playing, you know, it's just something you just know. Yeah.